Hey, what's up, everybody? We're doing something a little bit different tonight. Um, we are going to be reviewing the new Nexus backpack. I know it's uh, something that's kind of different. It's going to be really different with the, the doggo puppers running around up there. But um, So I had somebody reach out to me, the, the, uh, the guy that... Uh, he wanted to send me one to see what I thought and uh, to give it a review. And he, I think uh, J.R. Raymond's already done this. I think maybe Darren Tang, uh, Brad and Kyle. So you might have seen this bag other places. So um, we're going to give it a go here. I haven't watched any of what they have to say. So you can, you know, judge for yourself. You can go watch their reviews too. If you're interested in the backpack, uh, I know that it used to be a thing where people didn't really, you know, people even thought the backpacks were kind of like jerseys. They were just, everybody thought if you had a bowling backpack, you were just as silly as you were if you had a jersey. But as people go to more and more tournaments and just finding out the utility of a backpack, how handy it is so that you can use like the tournament rollers. Cause I used to have one of them big four ball rolling things that's just obnoxious to get in the car and whatever else. And so a bowling backpack has become kind of, a really big deal, especially for uh, college kids, because there's uh, college kids, uh, larger tournaments, professional tournaments, because there's just not a whole lot of space. And sometimes you have to stack your bags. And so the tournament rollers are in your best interest. And then you can stick everything else in a backpack like this. So uh, let me see here. I had some reference material. I did have some uh, information here that I wanted to share with everybody first, if I can get to the right place. I'd intended to have this all up and running. So anyway, if you want to go to, uh, I believe it's nexusbag.com. And there, I've got all the information down in the description below. If you, uh, he also gave me a code to use. So if you're interested in the bag, you can uh, use code BrosDoll10, just like Coolwick, to get 10% off on the bag at nexusbag.com. Uh, let me see. So I did talk with him uh, a couple times. He's, he's kind of a one-man band. This is, is one of those things where he, he designed it himself. He's, you know, uh, done everything for it himself. And so this is kind of a labor of love for him. I think he's a, uh, he's a veteran that uh, is into bowling tournaments and just not very happy with the current selection of bowling backpacks available. And so he wanted to, to design something that, that's got the military feel to it. So it is kind of a rucksack type design for those of you that are in the military. And kind of know, so you'll kind of have an idea what's going on with this bag, but he wanted to design it kind of for bowlers so that um, so that they would have something better than what's out there. So, first of all, it is a fairly sizable bag. It's not, um, and if you have any questions in the chat, I'll try to keep up with them here. Uh so, uh, but at the same time, it doesn't have to be this big. Uh, you don't have these accessory cases come off and go on actually quite easily. The bottom one's got two sets of hooks. So uh, I talked to him about it. It's a little difficult to line up sometimes. Uh, but he said, yeah, as, as you use it, it'll just, it'll, you know, work right in. And this one, um, this one works this one works pretty easily if I can get it lined up in the right spot. So yeah, it just, it just slides on and off like that. And it, it's really pretty simple to use. So if you don't want the accessory cases on there too, there's a whole bunch of storage in here. I had, um, I probably should have had my old backpack for a size comparison. 
Um, but these these bags uh, just come right off here. So, and that's the other thing too is I, you know, I wasn't necessarily having trouble getting the bag off, but it's it's one of those things where you want it to be on there snug enough to where it's not just gonna fall off or slip off. Um, but it's really not that difficult to get off. These are also patches here on the front that they sell on the website. Also, uh, so you can just, again, and then, so you can, you know, stick those on there. You can get, uh, different Nate, you can get, uh, there's a military website where you can go actually have, you know, a, a name tag design and he's got the, yeah, military, military uniform supply.com is where he said to go get, uh, go get your, uh, name tag if you, if you want so that you can stick that on here. But this is a very, very strong Velcro. So, I mean, you stick something on here and it's not going to go anywhere. So, so once again, if you don't necessarily want or need the accessory bags, or you'd rather carry them around differently, or if you just want to say, you know, take this one off and stick it in if you've got a bowling bag with a, one of the tournament rollers with the shoe compartment on top of it and slide this one in, um, then this can actually function just like a normal, you know, like a normal backpack. But again, you can always put these accessory pouches back on if you want. Um, I do like the way that if you look on the back here, it's got quite a bit of padding on here. I do like the way that it fits. And it doesn't really, even with the even with the accessory packs on here, it doesn't really, it doesn't really stick out that far. It's not really that much bigger than a regular backpack. And even when it does have the have the accessory bags on there, it's really not as big as you think it is from just like a bulk uh, standpoint. It, it's not something that you're going to feel weighed down by. It's not now unless you put a. There, there's definitely plenty of storage in here. So if you fill it up and make it heavy, that's that's on you. But um, uh, by itself, it's, it, it's big enough to carry all your bowling stuff in it. Plus I'm only using about half the space in this right now. Plus it's, it's one of those things where if you're just going on a weekend bowling trip, you're just getting out to go bowl a weekend tournament or something like that. There's actually enough room in here to where you can pack your, your weekend supplies too. Like you can put a couple changes of clothes in here and, uh, some basic stuff and just use this for the entire weekend without having to pack any more luggage. So anyway, without any further rambling here, I'm going to go on ahead and start getting into the bag. Once again, uh, like I said, it's got the Velcro on uh, the front of the actual backpack without, you know, without the accessory packs on there. So you can go with or without them. Um, one thing I do like, it's got a ventilated shoe compartment down here. So instead of sticking your shoes in a bag and then zipping them up where it's not airtight, but it's virtually airtight, um, this is, this is ventilated. So signature tennis shoes, uh, but there's enough room in there. I mean, just again, for, you know, a pair of shoes, just, you know, just flip them up like this, slide them in. Um, I wear size 11, 11, 11 and a half, and I've still got an extra, you know, couple inches of room in here. So I'd say it would fit up to probably size 15s pretty comfortably. Uh, that wouldn't be anything that we'd really have to worry about. Um, let me look in, let me show you what I've got in these accessory cases. And I kind of wanted, I'd, I'm sorry if this seems a little bit less than structured, but I kind of wanted to go with, you know, go through it as you know somebody who just kind of gets the bag and is checking everything out so um i actually use this this has got two zippers on top i use the front compartment for my my keys chapstick pens wallet whatever else to put that in while i'm bowling and then i've got a whole bunch of you know supplies and stuff in here extra shoe cover shoelaces um the uh ever so popular hello kitty ball cup Along with the Hello Kitty grip sack, you've got to have the whole, you know, you've got to have everything go together too. Oh, and I got the sparkly, got the sparkly purple butterfly one too. I don't know how you can see that, but sparkles. So yeah, this is big enough to put all this stuff in. 
Um, so this is actually, if you get like a like a turbo accessory bag, storm accessory bag, whatever else, this one is a little bit bigger than those. This uh, this top one doesn't quite have all the pockets, but there's enough pockets in here to where, you know, this is just kind of your basic stuff. Uh, for those of you that carried more stuff around, stuff like bevel knives would fit really well in here because they're kind of, you know, long enough to stick some bowling tools like a rasp or some other things in that don't quite fit in traditional uh, accessory bags. I would like to carry some of that other, or I would have liked to carry some of that other stuff myself, but I always end up stabbing myself with a bevel knife or something like that. And um, that's actually... This, this one's actually a good size and good shape for carrying stuff like that in. Now this one has, I'm not even sure if I have anything in here because this one's got, oh, I do have a few things in here. This one's got several ports. So this has all kinds of, I mean, you can put all kinds of stuff in here. So... Um, okay. And he, he's in here too, uh, kind of telling me something about the bag. So I was, I should have sent him something earlier. So if anybody has any questions, uh, that kit is for Avalon pads and cleaners. The silver part is waterproof. That's something that's very, that's very interesting to note. So, uh, yep. So that would be, that would be another good idea for, um, so yeah, the silver, you see the silver lining inside here. Uh, he's saying it's waterproof. And so, yeah, it does, it is different. So you can put cleaners and other stuff that might, <laughs> that might leak out sometimes. Uh, but this is prepared to handle that. So this one has a bunch of compartments and it's got some little mesh mesh sleeves right here. So I don't really carry a whole bunch of stuff. My wife carries a bunch of stuff too, and we're always at the same tournaments at the same time. Uh, so I just really have a couple tools. I've got a little screwdriver for putting, for taking tape out with, and uh, just some other general stuff, some patches, and you know, I got a little bit of tape and whatever else in here. But this is, this one's your pretty deluxe accessory case. And all of these actually come out, these are Velcro. So you don't have to have all these compartmentalized, uh, you know, all of these. You can take you can take the Velcro out and you can configure this, uh, the shape of this bag however you want to. You can have, and they the, the ones that run top to bottom also are Velcro. So you can take all of them out and just have this big bag here if you want to. Or you can use the compartments. You can arrange them however you want to. Um, so this is where I imagine a lot of your regular normal stuff would go. Another thing I really like about this bag, it may seem somewhat trivial. The zippers are amazing. They're very, very easy, free, you know, free wheeling, free gliding. I, I can't tell you how many times I've gotten some of these triple rollers that have the, you know, have the handle and the two zippers and the zippers just don't, don't get stuck or hardly ever work or whatever else. But these uh, these zippers, I'm pretty. If you're easily irritated by things like I am, you'll appreciate the zippers. Now I do have another. This is just for I can probably do away with this because I already have one. And so so by comparison, here is a you know Storm Deluxe accessory bag. Here is this accessory bag. So, you know, this one's actually wider. It's not quite as tall, but I don't think I really need it to be that tall. Uh, so I just have some basic stuff in here that I probably don't even need in here anymore. I've got some Aberlon pads and, um, you know, <laughs> that's really all I have in here. Aberlon pads and a bunch of junk that I probably should clean out, but I just put this in here because I'm used to, I'm used to carrying it, but actually all this stuff can just, maybe I'll just go on ahead and switch it all right now. So I can just stick the Eberlon pads down in there. I've got some change and stuff. Mm. Open Championships Pride Pen. I'm really proud of USB-C right now, so this will come in handy. Um, yeah. Nothing in there. Oh, shims. Gotta have shims. Shims. 
Really nothing in the front but a bunch of junk, so all right. Get rid of that thing. So that's handy. All right, so this might be a little difficult to see down in here. Here I've got my practice shoes. If anybody wondered what happened to the orange shoes, they're in here. So there's a lot going on inside of this. And like I said, this is, I keep an extra pair of shoes in here because this is big enough in here. And it's got a little platform that, uh, that kind of folds down and Velcros. And this is part of the assembly process is the only thing that you have to do with this bag. Uh, when you when you get it is stick the accessory bags on the front and there's a little velcro flap that goes down on top of where the shoe compartment is so it just it doesn't it's it comes you know in a smaller box so uh, it's the only thing you have to do and it's pretty easy to do there's a little platform and there's you know velcro down here pretty easy to put together what do I get? um Rock sauce, this stuff's amazing. It's got several little little sleeves here. I know this is a little hard to see. Um, oh, got this is yeah, this is ice rock sauce. So again, several several uh, sleeves down here. Some longer sleeves. Once again, it looks like it'd be really handy for some. Uh, <laughs> there's probably room for a ball in here actually. If you did, if you didn't put the shoes in. Or if you put the if you didn't put this like platform in, and then you put the ball on the bottom and put the shoes on top, there's I'm pretty sure that there's enough room for a bowling ball in here, and it, it's definitely sturdy enough to handle a bowling ball. So, then up on top here, you've got another you've got a Velcro compartment to put whatever else in. It also comes with a USB charger, and so if you want to, this would be one of those things. Uh, Here's this too, where if you have a, a a battery pack, you can hook the battery pack up to this and keep it in your backpack, and then you know hook a USB cord in here and charge your phone from there instead of carrying a you know instead of trying to manage everything. So there's one of those. There's also another one that's that's further down in there. So there's these two longer. And again, you can stick bevel knives and all kinds of stuff up in this, you know, up in these compartments too. So, and on the flip side, on the other side, there's more of the uh, kind of longer Velcro compartments up here too. Just like, like on the flip side in this in this pocket, there's a couple more in here. So, you know, so. Couple more of those, um, and there's all kinds. There's room down in here for fancy chamois, um, and then there's a larger compartment on the back here for a laptop. So you can stick. This goes all the way down to the bottom. So you can stick a laptop on the back here. That's another feature: a laptop, iPad. Uh, anything, anything that you want to take along with you here. It does have a little clasp here on the, you know, I stuck a bunch of, uh, but it's got a little clasp here and it actually kind of pulls apart so you can stick whatever you want to on there and then hook it into the, you know, hook it into that clasp there. So, uh, it's got adjustable, obviously it's got adjustable straps and they, you know, they, you know, they come loose just like any regular backpack. So, yep, definitely laptop sized. So I use, I've use i used this for about two weeks now. We've had a couple league sets and a couple tournaments that we've gone to, and I've been really happy with it. It hasn't, again... Uh, it's, it's bigger than my other backpack, but it's not bulky. I didn't find myself like, if, if you're used to wearing a backpack anyway, this one doesn't stick out much further. So you're used to kind of like avoiding things. It's not something where you go to turn around and you're knocking stuff off because it's like, oh my gosh, this thing's freaking huge. Uh, it's got, again, it's, it's big enough and it's a little bigger than most bowling backpacks. I didn't have, 
Uh, it's probably about twice the size of my other one that's not. Uh, I might see if I can get the wife to... Um, I might see if I can get the wife to... Oh, the class hold water bottles from vending machines, or you can use a clipping. So, yeah, this is... That's what that's for. So, yeah, you can stick a... It holds, it holds a water bottle in there. Let me take these stupid things off so you can actually see. So, yeah, put a water bottle in there, and it'll hold the water bottle on the side of the backpack. So, if I can get my wife to find my other backpack, wherever that went to, so I can kind of compare them a little bit. I don't like the bowling brand backpacks. I've had a couple of the Storm ones. The um, the Turbo ones are, are pretty small. And then the the Storm one, one of the Storm ones is pretty small. The Deluxe one uh, is still not that big. And the zippers made me mad and the seams started coming off. I'm sure that they'll love me saying that on here, but it is what it is. So Angel's going to bring me my other backpack to kind of show you. Uh, yeah, the storm bag just got banned. It's too soft. So let's see. It's on the garage floor, so it's dirty. Yeah, yeah, I figured. But... All right. So, here was the other backpack that I used. If somebody wants a comparison for size, yeah. I do have oh. that one here. Yeah, this will work. Okay. This is Angel's old turbo backpack, which is, you know, bright and colorful and fun. Uh, it's not very big. It doesn't have a whole lot of pockets in it. It's cool for just kind of not, if you're not big into tournament bowling, if you're just, you know, a league bowler, these things are great for... These things are great for league bowling, but if you pack a lot of stuff, you're a serious tournament bowler, uh, travel a lot. This is very, very easy to travel with, by the way. It's also carry-on size, or it's a smaller than carry-on size, so you could take this, as long as you don't have any bevel knives, you could probably take this on a plane, as far as I know. Um, this was the Swiss Gear backpack that I had been using, which I did like. Uh, again, it's it's got... It's, it's definitely got, you know, more pockets and is, is kind of more wide open than uh, some of the bowling backpacks. And it really kind of, it really kind of makes me laugh that a lot of the, uh, a lot of backpacks that aren't designed for bowling are a lot better for bowling backpacks than most of the bowling backpacks that are designed for bowling. So I get a little chuckle out of that. Um, so, and this is, some, I was, I was fairly happy with this. I mean, it's got the same thing. It's got, it's got a, you know, pack on the back. It's got this for your, for your laptop on the back. And it's got, it definitely has plenty of pockets and it also has one of the, the headphone things or, you know, you can stick your battery pack down in there and it's got some, it's got some sleeves in here, but it doesn't have it. I mean, just looking at this for, you know, a couple you know, 30 seconds here, it doesn't have anywhere near the, the pocket storage, whatever else that this bag does. And when this was, you know, you know, when I had a, when I had a bunch of stuff in there, this bag is not a whole lot, you know, this is, this is just a regular, this would be like something that somebody would get for a, for high school or college class or whatever. So, I mean, you can see the difference in size, it's about the same size as a regular backpack. So for somebody, you know, for people looking at this saying, oh my gosh, that thing's freaking huge. It is from the standpoint of there's a bunch of compartments, there's a bunch of places to put stuff in here, but it's not huge to the point where you're going to go, I feel like I'm carrying a small child on my back. So, all right. And once, once again, like I said, I carry the two pairs of shoes because if something, if I have a blowout with the, since I wear tennis shoes, if I have a blowout, I, I can't exactly change slide pads or anything. So I do carry my other pair of shoes. Um, so all I do, I mean, like I said, there's a shoe compartment down there and then I just put the shoes on, on top here in, in this front compartment that's, that's on top of the, uh, the flap that's on top of the shoe compartment here. So that fits really easily in there. And again, I even have, 
I even had room for my accessory pouch thing that's on the floor over there now. But, so anyhow, if there's anything that anybody wants to ask, any questions you have about it, um, the one thing that might, uh, the bag is $150, and, you know, before you get sticker shock or something like that, if you want a decent backpack, that's just what they cost. There's a lot of people that I've talked to that, you know, that uh, go to college or do other things. It's like, yeah, well, 150 bucks. If you want a decent backpack, that's about what they cost. It's not anything, again, it's not anything egregious and whatever else. Now, just like everything else, you can always get cheaper options if you want to. But if you want something that, again, this is this is built like a military rucksack that they use in the military. And so it's something that's uh, that's really versatile, can carry a bunch of different things. Again, it's got bowling utensils and supplies are all such different shapes and sizes that when you get some other kinds of backpacks, it's kind of like, well, I'm just going to, like the backpack design is like, well, I'm just going to make a bunch of big pockets so that they can just kind of chuck everything in there. So if you're somebody that likes having a pocket for everything, if you like having a place for everything, if you like having... Um, you know, instead of just kind of opening your bag and digging through pockets and saying, oh, well, this is in here and this is in here and this is in here. You can have a dedicated home for everything that you carry with you in this bag. Because, again, there's it. Let's let's do a pocket count. Let's just do a pocket count. So there's again, there's the shoe pocket down there. You can put another pair of shoes up here if you want. Or you can put some completely different down there. You have to put you can put the shoes in here because obviously they fit. So you can put the shoes up top if you want to. And you can put something completely different down there. So, um, so we've got the three long, the three taller pockets in the front that you could probably put again, ball cleaner in. I could fit two of these, three of these in this, in this, you know, this pocket on the front. Let me take these shoes back out. So again, here's the pocket number one, pocket number two, pocket number three. Then you've got the, uh, the long Velcro pocket on the top here where I've got, uh, I've got the. Yeah, I've got the USB cord in there. And there's another one just like it right down there. So you got two of these pockets on the front side of this thing. Go back into the back of it. Once again, you've got the same thing. You've got two of these bigger, long, you know, pockets that are, you know, Velcroed inside of here. Plus, then you can, again, you, there's plenty of, like, I can throw all kinds of stuff down in here, plus a laptop, you know, iPad, uh, whatever else that you want to put in here. Again, this has got your, you know, this has got your big, long pocket here on the back. And just for reference, the uh, this pocket starts about right here, and you can stick your laptop in it, and it's got, again, it's got this Velcro you know, this Velcro strap here, if you even need to use it. If you have a taller laptop, you don't have to use the strap. So that's for the main backpack. And then once again, this axe is kind of your all purpose. Like you said, it's got the one, it's got the waterproof, it's got a waterproof side to it. And then it's got just kind of a general side to it. So again, for, you know, Avalon pads, general stuff you can stick that in the front again if you do have ball cleaner or this is probably where i should put my um actually i should probably move some of this stuff i should probably put all this stuff somewhere else and put my rock sauce in the in the back here so let's actually i'm just going to play around with this here a little bit put these somewhere else i'm going to put my Shoelaces that I don't really need, but just carry for some reason in the back here. Let me get my rock sauce out and put those back here. So when, if and when these leak, when it starts getting warm outside, I've got an extra shoe cover so I don't want to slip in my tennis shoes. Um... I don't believe you can. I'm not sure. I'd have to get uh, 
So yeah, I don't believe that you can get, I think it, it all comes as kind of a package deal. As far as I know. Okay, so I got all my, I moved all my stuff in there. So I got everything moved around to the proper places. Um, this also, this should be, I mean, it's waterproof, so it should, if something does leak in here, it should be really easy to dump out and wipe out and whatever else. So... extra shoe cover. Let's put this back here with my shammies. Alright, we'll do that with the shoe cover too. Stick that back here with the shammies. Alright. And then once again, like I said, I don't have anything to put in here yet, but this is the bigger, and Angel and I both have, what crap did I do with that, actually? Now that I'm noticing that, I have no idea where my, oh, I put, I put, I have a big kind of uh, plastic container that's got a bunch of extra, that's got a bunch of extra tape and, uh, actually, no, I don't have the plastic container anymore because I put everything in here. So I used to have a plastic container that I would, uh, kind of put everything in, but it was, again, it was a hard plastic one that had, that already had its own compartments and everything in here. And I just added that. I put that in the, the laptop part of my other bag, but since I've got these accessory bags right now, then I don't need the other storage stuff. So all this stuff goes in the bag. Like I said, you got the two, you got a, a one big mesh pocket down here. You've got a couple bigger mesh pockets down here and then a completely super customizable uh, larger area down here. So if you did have a plastic container, you could take all this, all these Velcroed sections out and fit the entire freaking container down in here. So uh, this is, this is again, something that's very customizable for uh, how you want to pack your stuff. So. All right. I'm going to zip this thing back up. I'm going to try to put these accessory cases back on the front and give you another, give you another idea how, oh, shoes. Once again, digging the zippers. Super excited about the zippers. Um, now, again, on the back of this, it does have uh, six loops here. And then you can see that they're, you know, they're kind of, they've got their own slots here. So you can see exactly where, you know, exactly where those hooks are supposed to go into. This one, again, he says, he says it loosens up a little bit. Um, but, you know, these, these clips are actually better than I expected. I thought it's going to be a whole lot harder to get this stuff lined up than it actually is. It's just once you get it worn in a little bit, then that's... So, you know, you just put that right on the front. And, I mean, just to, just to show you that I wasn't just kind of, oh, I'm just going to hook the top ones to make it look simpler than it really is, those, the bottom ones are hooked on too. So that was really easy to just kind of slide right on there. It's nothing that you're going to have to mess with a whole bunch. The clips kind of, you know, they kind of grab the... So... And again, these are these are some kind of fun patches that they have on, on the website too. And they also have some... They have Army, Navy, uh, um, the Prisoners of War, and then they have uh, Marine Corps too, I believe. I had You had to get on the website, but they got a bunch of these in there. They're pretty cool. And you can stick them, you know, wherever you want to stick them. So I'm going to go ahead and put the, put the backpack on. So again, like I said, it's, it's, you know, it's a big backpack, but if you're interested, if you're looking at something like this, then that's, you know, that's really what you want. It fits well. It's comfortable. You can cinch the, you know, you can cinch these up if you want to. I've got them about as tight as I want them, but so, 
I don't know. I've been really happy with it so far. Again, the zippers are a big plus. Yeah, you'd still have plenty of room left even if you carried the accessory bags inside the main bag. So if you do want to... Well, yeah, that's actually a good point, too. So let me... Let me actually, yeah, let me actually do that. If you don't, that's, that's kind of a good idea. If you don't want the, you know, if you say, oh, this is, this is a little bit, you know, a little too big for me. Then you could actually put accessory cases. And I would think, actually, this one would go good in the front. So if you don't have an extra pair of shoes let's whoops yeah so the uh the big one at the bottom fits kind of perfectly snugly right here inside this top part and then this one would you know this one would go in the back if i can not do the if I didn't already have stuff back there. Yeah, it's a little bit tight, but I've got I got stuff in there already. So yeah, if you just if you wanted to carry them inside the I have to take all this stuff out to fit this smaller one in the back here, but this might not be a a bad idea for going through the airport or something. But again, and like I said, there's there's enough room in here for where you can put you can put all kinds of, of stuff for a weekend trip. You can have a couple instead of you know, and even on top of your on, there's the there's the sleeve here between the laptop. So the laptop uh, part is down here. And then you can stick clothes and whatever else down in there, and then you know, toothbrush and, you know, toiletries and whatever else. And one of these up here and just use that as your carry on on the airplane. Uh, Cause it's definitely smaller than carry on size, which is another, another plus for people that travel. So if you're just going, if you're worried about luggage or if you already have a couple bowling bags that you've got to check and depending on which airline that you, which airline you go to. Again, I'm going to try to, Yeah, they all hooked. Huh. Missed that one, but anyhow. Yeah. So, if anybody has any more questions, you can ask, and I've got the... Um, I can actually ask the guy direct, or you can leave comments on here, or... Um, I'm sure I think that you can leave comments on the, or he's, he's got a way to contact him on the website if you have any more questions, but I think just from, and obviously with him being the one that designed this again, he's again, this is the, this is the water bottle clasp over here. And then he's, uh, this pouch has a waterproof container, you know, a, a waterproof pocket. So there, there's probably some other interesting or specific uses for some of these pockets or things that he had an idea for if you wanted to get in contact with him and ask him about it. Uh, but this is something I'm actually going to be using. And like I, like I told the wife when he, when he reached out to me in the first place, I thought, you know, I've been thinking about a new backpack anyway, cause mine got kind of stuffed again with the, with the two pairs of shoes and with the other stuff, it was, it, it was actually, it felt bulkier and heavier than, than this does. So, and it'd been getting kind of dirty and worn out and whatever else. So, so anyway, I'm probably, I've been rambling incessantly for a while now. Uh, once again, all the information is in the description below. It's nexusbag.com. You can use my code ROSEDOLL10 to get uh, 10 additional percent off. So that makes this bag $135. So if you go look again for other bags of this type, this size, this quality, that's, the, I mean, that's the, 
going rate pretty, pretty easily. And so I'm already been pretty happy with this so far and we'll continue to test it out. And like I do with, with everything else or like I intend to do with everything else, um, we're going to see how it lasts. So we're going to, we're going to see kind of the, the quality longevity of it. Uh, because I mean, it's, if you, if you go online, it's about the, you know, it's about the price of a bowling ball. So once again, if anybody has any questions, go ahead and ask them. If not, I'm probably just going to go ahead and sign off right now. I am pretty happy with it. And again, you know, if I wasn't happy with it, I'd say so. I like the features. I like the size. I like the, you know, definitely like the zippers. I'm a big fan of the zippers. There's all kinds of personalizing stuff that you can do on the front of this. And if you were in the military, this would be, this would definitely be something that you want to look like because it's a whole lot like what, you know, you you carried, plus you can put all your, I mean, you probably already have a bunch of these patches and stuff that you can just slap right on this thing. So definitely of extra interest if you're in the military, but uh, it's a very good bag. I'm pretty happy with it at face value first and having used it for a couple weeks now, I like it. So thanks everybody for watching. And for those of you who are watching after I turn the stream off when it's not live. Thanks for doing the review. It's been informative and great look at it. Great comparisons, demonstrations. You certainly got a sale from me. Sweet. Appreciate it. I think that you'll, I think you'll definitely like it. This is, this is definitely up your alley. And I, again, uh, you got to look at it over the last weekend and, you know, I like it. Plus it stands up. You know, the rest of these bowling, uh, the rest of these bags that just, you got to lay them down or plop them on something. You can sit this on top of the table. You can sit it in the chair or whatever else. And it, it, it stands there. It doesn't collapse on, a, on itself. We don't have to lay it down somewhere, or hang it up somewhere. You can just, you know, let it hang out. So thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'll answer them the best that I can. And if I can't answer them, I'll get you an answer from the, uh, the owner, the designer himself. Um, otherwise again, go to nexusbag.com. If you're interested in checking this out again, this, there's, um, even more information on the website as, as far as the features go and whatever else. So, so definitely go check it out. Thanks everybody. And we will see you next time.